Hello students, this is Abhishek Dikshit, your SST teacher and this is Geography Chapter 1 Resources. So, so what are the resources? So, there is a story of two kids, Mona and Raju, who were helping their mother to clean their house. They said, look at all these things, clothes, utensils, food grains, combs, this bottle of honey, books, each of these has a use, said Mona. That is why they are important, said Amma. These are resources. What is a resource? Was Raju's question to Amma. Anything that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource. So, what is a resource? Anything that can be used to satisfy a need is called resource. Applied by Yama. Look around you and observe. You will be able to identify many types of resources. The water you drink when you are thirsty. The electricity you use in your house for fan, light and etc. The rickshaw you use to get home from a school or bus. The textbook to you use to study or all resources. Your father has prepared a tasty snack for you. Snack, the fresh vegetable he has used, are also a resource. So, remind it, water, electricity, rickshaw, vegetable and textbook have something in common. They have all been used by you, so they have utility. Utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resource so there are broadly three types of resources first one natural second human and third one human made so natural resources nature has gifted us with lots of good things on which we depend on for our daily needs we call it natural resources like Air, water, forest, soil, minerals and wildlife. Animals are there. You can see in the picture, there are soil, minerals, animals, rocks, water and oil. These all are natural resources. So, what are natural resources? Those resources that exist without the action of humankind. So, we should not be effort for it. This include all valued characteristics such as magnetic, gravitational and electrical properties and forces. On earth, it includes sunlight, you got it daily, atmosphere, around you, the air is there, water, land, air include all the minerals along with all vegetation and animal life that naturally subsist upon or within the heretofore identified characteristics and substance. So, resources class classification also done through some other aspect like biotic and abiotic. So, the living thing are biotic like the cotton comes from plant are and plants are living thing. So, cotton and plants are biotic resource. Similarly, all animals are biotic resource. But the steel to make the machine comes from rocks and iron ore. We could not find it directly from the nature. We made it through the rocks and the ore, both of which are non-living. So, these are called abiotic things. You can see biotic components, sun, air, the cycle is there, okay. Again, based on how much we have developed them yet, natural resources are divided into actual and potential. Actual resources are those who quantity is known, they are resources that are being used right now. The rich deposit of coal 
in rural region of Germany. Okay, this is Ruhr. Name is Ruhr region of Germany. The oil in Western Asia. The dark fertile soils of Deccan Plateau in southern part of India. In Maharashtra in India. The fresh water in rivers are actual resources we use. Potential resources are those who, whose total quantity is not known or those that are not fully used yet. But with the help of time and human-made technology, these resources could be used in future. The uranium found in Ladakh is an example of potential resources. High-speed winds were a potential resources 200 years ago. But our windmills have turned them into actual resources that help us draw water and irrigate farms. Wind farms are also used to create electric power in places such as Netherlands, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat. So, on the basis of stock in or uh, how much we are able to store and save them. Natural resources are broadly categorized into renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are those resources which are renewed, which could be renewed. It means you can renew it next time. Okay? Or it is it is changed quickly and those things which can't renew those resources called non-renewable resource like petroleum sources could not be renewed recently. It could be take thousands years to make coal or petroleum. You can see in this picture.